Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to set up Dreamweaver so that you can actually use your website um, with a local server or a remote server and transfer your files back and forth. So I've done a video on this before already, but the audio was way too low, so now I'm going to redo it now that I have a little bit more time and I have a better headset and microphone going on. So to get started, we're going to go up here to our site and we're going to hit New Site. We're going to name it whatever you want, in this case EUP Photo. All right. Now we need to specify a local site folder, so we're going to do that right now, and I've already done so. So what we're going to do is go to this PC, we're going to go down to our local disk. Now this is just where I've put it. I'm running XAMPP on my computer, so I'm running a server. You don't have to, as long as you have a remote server, you can do that as well, and then you can just have your local folder anywhere you want on the computer. But in my case, it's under XAMPP, htdocs, EUP Photography. Hit select, and there it is. Now, to actually tell Dreamweaver where our server is so that it can actually use it to push files uh, to the live server or do development server testing, we need to specify some servers. So we're going to go to this little plus button here, add a new server, and our first one here we're just going to call EUP Photo. I know, very original. And we're going to connect using FTP. Now, connecting via FTP is going to allow us to connect to a remote server. So a server that you have hosted off location for your web host. So say, like, if you're going through a company like Squidix or GoDaddy or anybody, um, HostGator, things like that, they are going to have um, a way for you to set up an FTP account into your web server so that you can upload files. So in my case, I've already preset this up, but my... Uh, address is ftp.eupphoto.com port 21 is by default username is peter at uh, EUP Photo. now I set up the username I set up my password okay now we're gonna test it and it should say it, uh, connected successfully which it does if for whatever reason you get an error I want you to go back look at your FTP settings again make sure everything is correct make sure you're not connecting over like the uh, secure FTP or anything like that um, there's a lot of different ways to connect so you want to make sure that uh, you've got the right information uh, just so you can see you got the secure FTP or the SFTP you got the FTP over SSL uh, implicit uh, encryption or explicit encryption so you really need to know what you're doing if you're gonna do any of this stuff here uh, most people do FTP or SFTP if you're working with more sensitive files so we're gonna do the FTP though and then our root directory we're not going to change because we're not working with any folder specifically outside of my root so if you were working on a specific subdomain or something like that in your UC panel you would actually be able to put in the root directory here to FTP into that so say your website was uh, example.com and then you had a subdirectory of forward slash, you know, test. Well, you could put that root directory in there and be able to FTP directly in without having to mess with anything. Now our web URL is going to change. So we are going to change this to HTTP colon forward slash twice www.eupphoto.com. And I put four W's in there. I apologize. I thought I might have done that. Okay. So now that we have our web URL in there, there are more options, but I don't ever mess with them. Just leave the defaults checked of use passive FTP and use FTP performance optimization. Under advanced, this is probably my most favorite feature that Dreamweaver provides us, anyways, as coders, is the automatically upload files to server on save. That is great if you're just doing a quick edit, you know, replacing a picture or something like that. You don't have to log in separately to FileZilla find the file, send it off into the interwebs, you don't have to do that. This will automatically do it for you every time you save that file, which is great. So I'll leave that checked, um, and then we're going to save that. So as you can see here, we have our first server, EUP Photo, there's our FTP address, how we're connecting, and it's going to be our remote server. Now I'm going to add a second server. Now this is going to be my local server, the server that my machine is running right now. So we're going to call this EUP Photo 2, if I can spell photo correct today. Okay, so we're going to call it EUP Photo 2. We're going to connect using our local slash network. Now we need to go find our server folder. Now depending on if you're using WAMP, MAMP, XAMPP, any of those, um, if you're running your own Apache installation with MySQL, you're going to have all of that stuff saved into a folder somewhere. In my case, it's saved under the C drive. It's saved under a folder called XAMPP. 
And it's my HT docs folder. It could also be called www or public HTML. We're going to click open and select. So it should say server folder C colon backslash zamp backslash HT docs. So that's the actual server folder. The web URL is just going to be localhost at this point. Uh, and actually, since I did create that uh, local folder uh, under this server folder so that I could actually run my files uh, through this server on my computer without having to do some other technical wizardry, we are going to call that EP Photography. So now it should open up to that address and be able to show my folders when I hit F12 for a preview to see my files running. Now, with local servers, you do not have to store your folder with your files directly under the htdocs or the www folder on your server. But you will need to do some technical wizardry there and be able to basically like hot link or sim link it over into that. So you can basically say, okay, well, even though the folder's sitting here in my documents, I need it to also be over here at the same time. So it kind of talks back and forth, and you can tell the server where everything's sitting. I don't know the exact terms for everything here. I'm, you know, just Google it if you need to figure it out. But I know it's possible to not have to force it under your server like that. Okay, so our advanced, you got the same things. I don't mess with anything because it is our local server, so we don't need to automatically upload files. That's kind of redundant because it's already on the server the way that I'm doing it. So we'll click Save, and you can see it's now under our testing, and leave that checked. Click Save, and it's going to go through the site cache. I'm just going to ignore that. So I've already pre-downloaded all the files for you guys off of this, um, off of my web server to save some time. But as you can see here, we're under our local view under EUP Photo. Now, I can connect to my remote server by uh, clicking on this little button here. So you can see here it says waiting for server. And now I'm connected. I got a little green circle. We're good to go. So when I go in here and I work on any one of these files, like say contact.php, so we've got our little contact thing here and all this fun little text and all this good stuff here. Um, all right, so say that we worked on this file, we saved it, okay, great. It uploads to the live web, okay, that's cool. If you don't want to do that, again, you just leave that unchecked. It's very simple, and you can just uh, push it if you want to. You can synchronize it with the remote server, or you can manually select on it, hit the little put file um, arrow here, and do it that way as well. So if you're not comfortable with just control S and it automatically putting it on there, because maybe you don't know what it's going to look like or whatever, you can just uncheck when we set up that server um, to not automatically upload on save. And there's a couple different options here to where you can synchronize or push that file. Anyways, okay, so say we get done. We want to see what it looks like on our testing server. All right, we're going to hit F12. And F12 is going to uh, say, oops, we can't find it. Ha, ha, ha. And the reason why is because I can't spell photography, as you can see here. So let's go back and fix that real quick. All right, so we're going to go to Manage Sites. Now, this is a good way to learn how to manage the site. You select the one you want and hit this little Edit button here. We're going to go back over to Servers, and then we're going to go here, and we're going to click the little Edit button again. And there is a P in there. Save, save, done. Okay, go back to Contact, hit F12 again, and now we should actually go to my Contact page. So as you can see here, here's my ERP Photography logo and everything, all my different... Uh, menu stuff, a little form, a little address and all that. Yes, that's my actual address. Uh, anyways, so now you can see that we're running this off of our local server instead of on the remote server, which would be under epphoto.com. <clears throat> and it's the same deal. You come over here and you've got the same exact page just as you do off of our local server. Nothing's different. Okay, so now let's say in Dreamweaver you don't want to run your stuff off your uh, local server anymore. You didn't even install a local server. It's very simple to set it to where you can open up your live website right from Dreamweaver. So we're going to go up to site here. We're going to manage sites again. We're going to make sure we have our site highlighted and edit. We're going to come into servers here, and we're going to uncheck this little check mark for testing and make sure that we set our actual live server as the testing server and the remote server at the same time. Click Save, click Done, OK. So let's come back to the index page here. We're going to hit F12, and it's going to take us right into the epphoto.com live version of our website, as you can see right here on our web. 
All right, so that's how you can actually set it to go view your actual website what is live to everybody else in the world. And again, if you don't want to do the auto upload on save, just come to servers, come here, click edit, go to advanced, uncheck, save, save, done. There you go. Now you can save your files as much as you want. They won't get pushed to the live server. And you're able to do that manually once you're done working for the day. Like I said, synchronize it with the server. It'll automatically detect that you've got newer versions of that file here on your local machine. And then it'll ask you, do you want to push those to the live server so that everybody else in the world can see all the work you've done for the day? And you can say yes or no or you manually select which files you want. But guys, thank you again for watching. I hope this video helped you out quite a bit. Um, again, sorry for the old video that had really horrible audio and hopefully this one's a lot better and I hope I didn't bore you too much. So thanks again for watching. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I appreciate it and we'll talk to you next time.